Welcome. For today's video, we are doing a Milk Makeup Foundations Wear Test. All, all three. By the time you're watching this, they might have more, I don't know, but we are going to be testing out the Sunshine Skin Tint, the Flex Foundation Stick, and then the one I'm wearing now, the um, uh, Blur Liquid foundation. I'm going to be using the same base for all of these, which is the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I could have used a primer, but I do think that foundations should still perform without one. And if you've been waiting for my opinion on this, I really like it. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and although I can't say that it does anything specific other than just moisturize your face really well, it does do that very well. So, big fan of this. I like all of these um, foundations from them, hence why I have all three and talk about them fairly often. So, without further ado, let's get into this. This video took me three days to film. <laughs> so, in order to try and make this as fair as possible, I'm going to be doing more or less the same things throughout. So, I'm going to be applying each foundation with the same clean brush, which is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Obviously, I do want to see how products lay on top of them, so I am going to be applying some of the... What was that? Does anyone else's iPhone ever do that? Make like a weird echo of their text tones? That's creepy. Anyway, I'm going to be applying some of the Milk Makeup Stick Bronzer. This is in the shade Baked. I'm also using their Flex Concealer in the color Light, small amounts, and I'm not going to be using any blush or highlight, just because I still want you to be able to see um, decent areas of the product and how it's lasted. For this application, I am going to be using the Sunshine Skin Tint. It has an SPF of 30. This one is in medium. If there is any uh, mismatching of foundations with my skin tone, uh, I'm just a little paler right now. So this one is in a rollerball applicator. So you press the little button at the end there. It will come out the top. Roll on. Get a little bit on my hand. And then I'm going to lightly set it with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder because I don't have their setting powder. I just have a lot to get through. With well, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start applying and then I will be checking back in with you after roughly six hours. Okay guys, so I'm setting myself a six hour timer. I'm just gonna try and get as close to it as possible. And this is the finished face with the Sunshine Skin Tint SPF 30. Now, although I am doing kind of wear tests for each one, I don't think it's gonna take a wear test for us to figure out that this is not gonna last as long as the other products. And that's really just the nature of a product like this. Tinted moisturizers usually are obviously more moisturizing, so they're gonna slip around a bit more on the skin, but they're also just gonna be more comfortable. You're gonna get a little bit more of like a skincare element to the foundation versus one that is uh, much more full coverage, in my opinion. Obviously, with an SPF product, you're gonna wanna be reapplying anyway, so uh, I do think that is something to keep in mind. We will still see how it wears and how it looks after six hours, and we'll see you later. All right, so I am 13 minutes away from it being six hours. Obviously, I'm pretty greasy. Let's uh, take a closer look. Considering I am a very oily skinned person, uh, kind of combo oily, it's really not that bad. I know some people have very high expectations for kind of tinted moisturizer style products, but I just don't think you can ask all that much of them. For me, this is more something I would use for a tiny bit of coverage and more so for the SPF in it. That being said, I can still see 
uh, some of the bronzer I put down. I still do have coverage where I put the concealer on top. A little bit of separating around the nose, but again, I'm oily. I'm super used to that. And a lot of shine. I have not touched anything up. I've not powdered. I've not put any more lip product on. And I've eaten pizza for dinner, in case you wondered. So for me, as far as a more tinted moisturizer style product goes, I'm super happy with it. I don't really ever expect any more than this from them. Um, I would say it still looks pretty even. There's no spaces where it's completely missing, um, but it is gonna get a little bit oily. The only thing I really ask of a tinted moisturizer is that when it does fade, for it to do so in a kind of even, more flattering way, and I feel like this does that. So this concludes the Sunshine Skin Tint Wear Test. More or less six hours. There's less than 10 minutes to go at this point. Let's move on to the next foundation. Hmm. Tucky dust on my earlobe. Normal. Okay, foundation number two is the Flex Foundation. This is a stick foundation and I'm gonna be using the color Sand. Very nice packaging. This is what my skin is looking like today and everything else is the same same base i'm going to be using the same product same brushes but with this foundation so let's go Okay, so this is one quite light layer of it. You could go even lighter over a really um, moisturized base, maybe even using a facial oil, like the Milk one is really good. That is what I traveled with, was their oil stick and then this foundation, and then I would either go a little bit more full coverage with this, or I would apply a bit more of the oil and just blend it out anywhere that I wanted a little bit of redness coverage. I do think this one is slightly buildable, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more anywhere that I wanna get a little bit more coverage, and then we will move on to concealer and everything else. Okay, so this is the finished look. Tried to do everything exactly the same, and I'm gonna set that six hour timer again, and I will be back as close to that six hours as possible. In other news, I've been mildly obsessed with individual lashes, or like little clusters, you know? <laughs> Uh, I feel like every time we're about to go out, it would be like 15 minutes before we need to leave and I'll be like, I'll just throw a couple on. Yeah. If you guys want to see a video on how I do them, it's like super easy, I think. It just takes a little bit more time. Honestly though, does it? I feel like once you finish like faffing around with strip lashes, it's actually... It's not that bad. I will go ahead and take before and after pictures so you guys can see a little bit more of a close-up as well as being able to see my face in motion. So, um... I'll see you in six hours. <clears throat> uh. 
All right, guys, I am back with about the same amount of time to go as um, the last one. I've got about 12 minutes to go. I'll obviously show you the before and after picture, and then, you know, this is it in motion. Obviously a lot less oily than with the um, sunshine skin tint, as to be expected. Speaking as an oily individual, I am very happy with how this one wears. I like all of the foundations I'm showing you, but obviously I want to show you for your eyes, you know? I have a tiny little bit of creasing and fine lines and a little bit around the nose. Let me show you a trick. All I do when that happens is I take my original foundation brush and just kind of like buff it out a little bit. The skin tint, way too far gone to do this trick, but otherwise this is typically what I do, is just kind of like pat it back out again. I think the concealer has stayed pretty nicely. I can still see where I have the bronzer, which is good, and there's no kind of areas that seem to have like disappeared fully. There are some foundations I've used where I'll suddenly be like, wow, there's like spaces on my forehead that are missing where there's like none on my jawline anymore. And I did have a fairly similar day today as I did for the sunshine skin tint. So finally put my Christmas tree away. Let me put some of this back on. So all in all, I am very happy. Uh, as an oily person, like I mentioned, I don't typically expect foundations to last indefinitely on my skin. I know there's gonna be some separation, there's gonna be some kind of glow coming through, but um, I'm super happy with this. I really liked this foundation, and like I said, it was the one that I traveled with. And I really think probably any skin type would enjoy it. If you do have very dry skin, I would advise using a nice, rich moisturizer, or maybe even their oil stick. And then if you are oily too, I think you'll enjoy it. You're just gonna wanna set it like I did and then potentially kind of just to touch it up, just kind of like pat it back out with your brush. I don't think you need to apply more or more powder necessarily, more just kind of like melting it back into the skin. So this is the end of our second check-in. For the next one, we will be doing the liquid, which uh, was in my favorites video of the year, which I'll link for you if you haven't watched it. Hopefully you have. On to the next one. Okay, time for Blur Liquid. They call this a matte foundation and I am using the shade Medium. I would recommend giving this a shake before using it and then you can just squirt some out onto the back of your hand or a palette. You guys know the drill by now. I'm gonna put this on my face. I'm gonna put other things on my face, but I did wanna mention one other milk product. I did feature this on an IGTV video on my favorite vegan and cruelty free lip treatments. It is their Kush Lip Glaze and it's amazing. That is what I have on now. So it's kind of like a gloss treatment thing. Delicious. Same base as before and um, let's crack on. Before I put anything else on, I do just want to take a moment to say this foundation is a dream to apply. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it is so easy to blend. It just goes on so smoothly. You don't need to use too much. I would say it is a little bit buildable, but you probably aren't going to need to build it that much. More just like an even thin layer, I think is just mwah, beautiful. Love it. Um, I'll continue now. Okay, and then this is the final finished face. Um, you guys know how I feel about this already. I don't typically go for matte foundations, but I had seen this in action on people's faces online and it's just beautiful. The way it blends, the color, the, the finish, the wear, it is just um, 
so many of you guys ask me what I'm wearing when I wear this. So I will set my little six hour timer again. I'm gonna start doing this earlier in the day in future so that I'm not working at like crazy hours of the night. Anyway, I'm not saying that I have a favorite because I don't necessarily know that they are comparable. Um, they are just so different from one another, but I, I really like this one. Anyway, I will see you in just a second, which will actually be approximately six hours. Okay, same as with the others, I've done no touch-ups, no powdering, nothing. And I did just eat a burger, which went all over my face. So other than some oiliness around the T-zone, which is extremely normal for me, I would say it held up very well. Similar kind of holding power to the Flex Foundation, but just more full coverage for this one. And I do think that products put on top of this one last very well. So say I put like blush and highlight and everything on, um, it does have really good lasting power with that too, but obviously I wanted to give you like a bigger area to see the actual foundation. Tiny bit of gathering around the nose. Not so much in other fine lines, thankfully. I can still see where I put my bronzer, the concealer is still there. Um, the one thing I was thinking is that if I do have any dry patches, say like I have a little bit up here, it does kind of cling to that. So if you do have drier skin, I do think you're going to want to put a nice oily base underneath maybe, or even uh, exfoliate really well before. Because I do think this one out of all of them has the most potential to cling to dry patches. So overall, very happy with it. This is one that I always reach for if I want to have more full coverage, longer lasting. But if I wasn't doing this, I may have just kind of like slightly powdered a little bit more throughout the day. Just like even just here and a little here. Yeah, that's that on that. You guys know I love this one, so. Okay, and then back to a fresher face to me. This is your outro. Um, that was all three of the Milk Makeup Base products um, showing you how they apply and wear throughout the day. I guess if I was gonna overly simplify things, this would be how I would use each. The sunshine skin tint I would use on days where I don't particularly wanna wear any makeup, I just want a little bit evening out of the skin and the SPF. So when I'm traveling, hiking, anything like that that I know I'm gonna be out in the sun but don't wanna wear a ton of makeup, this is the one. I wanted to hate the applicator. I don't know that I do. The Flex Foundation Stick I love for travel because it's a solid. It's super easy, easy to apply. I feel like you can get a good range of finishes with this. So I will apply on top of like a facial oil. Sheer just a small amount out and it's just gonna kind of even things out a bit. I will use this for foundation and concealer. Or you can apply it a little bit heavier, more like what I did um, in this video and get a more full coverage. So I find this one to be very versatile in that sense. And then, uh, <laughs> My sweet, sweet love, the Blur Liquid Foundation. This is one that I pull out when I just want to feel great about my skin. Um, it's easy to apply. It's like a joy to use. It really is. Um, if you guys can get a sample of this to try, I would highly recommend it. And this is just one that I wear. Whether I'm wearing a lot of other makeup or I just want a really perfected base, I always reach for this. It's, it's just a dream, honestly. So I believe everything in their line is vegan, which is incredible. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different for me. Six hours was about all I could manage taking into account everything else in my day. So I hope that gave you somewhat of an idea of how they wear. And if there are any other products you would like me to do this with, let me know in the comments. I will meet you down there. Please do give this a thumbs up if it was helpful or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. I would love to have you. Um, my social media will be on the end screen in just a second. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.